Hello, this is Witch Nikki and Ginger. <laughs> this is our room. Uh, 360. Try to go slow. This is our last day here, so I'm going to sit out and drink some coffee. They're having construction going on over there, opening mid 2019. So, pause. Okay, so this is my coffee. I brought a mug from home because they have little um, paper cups type things, which is not bad. I understand that, but I just like to have my own mug. The sun's already pretty much up. Yeah, there's a big cruise ship out there. You see that? This is our last morning, and I'm kind of teary up about it. <laughs> I just love this place so much. There's that bell tower. I always want to call it the clock tower, but it's a bell tower. And a lovely casino. And the little submarines. I think those are the glass bottom boats, or they might have submarine um, tours that you could take. So, of course, somebody's gonna put, um, do some, there's construction going on. So now we're gonna hear that beep, beep, beep for a few minutes. Um, hmm. This is the best way to sit. Because this is going to be the sun right in my face. <sighs> I kind of wanted to face you. So hopefully, put you up against my coffee for a minute so you can see me because I'm always you know, in back of the camera. I love Kathleen Island. It does have a lot of rich history, but even though I've, I've had some tours and I know bits and pieces here and there that I'll remember as I'm talking about it or something, like the other night, the casino and, um, there is a couple of tours, I think, for different stories of the casino. So um, it's really something you should do as a as a tour of the casino if you ever come here and stay at the Glenmore Plaza Hotel. They are excellent. Let me tell you here. Um, I don't care what other people have written. If they have written anything negative. Take it from me. We have, this is our fourth year staying here. And never once have we ever gone home thinking, let's not do that place again. <laughs> Michelle and I and Ginger, we love it here. Ginger has loved um, taking the jacuzzi bath with bubbles um, because we just have a shower capabilities at home. And it is luxurious, and you should always treat yourself with luxury when you can, because there's so much that you can't do in between sometimes. You just can't afford it. You say, I can't afford it. I can't do that. I shouldn't do that. But you're living life, you work hard, and you need to you need to get things for yourself and do things for yourself so that um, you feel good about it. Now, a lot of you are saying, but you don't work. Um, yeah, I do. And I don't work away from the home so much, 
but I make jewelry, which I don't have on yet because I haven't changed my clothes. I have my pajamas on still. I want to stay as, um, let me see, I want to make sure this is, it's still going. And um, can you see through the bars if I just hold it still a little bit? I don't want to put it directly into the sun. <clears throat> take, sorry, let me take a sip of my coffee. myself so I'm hoping that you're seeing me if I put it over here a little bit I'm gonna sip my coffee so it doesn't get I hope I'm, I hope I'm there <coughs> um, I want to do a little tour now that we've kind of cleaned up and we're packing again because you know how it is, you unpack and you have things everywhere. But they have like a, a little kitchen area with a microwave and a coffee maker. So you can have your coffee anytime you want it, not just wait till the breakfast is 7 to 10. That they serve the breakfast downstairs in a little breakfast uh, area. That you can also rent for parties I forgot how much how much it is or how many people but you can have a pretty good sized family party down there so anybody want to celebrate somebody's birthday like or an anniversary or have a little reception for a wedding here perfect because there are so many beautiful beautiful photo opportunities here for lovely pictures and memories here everywhere you go now I know I'm not a famous youtuber but I'm gonna put hashtags on here I'm going to put links to whatever I can on here so you can know where to go for the Glenmore Plaza Hotel and anything here at Catalina that you want to do. They have um, golf carts that you can rent, bicycles if you can manage to go uphill to the Wrigley um, Botanical Gardens. It is lovely and once you get up there you go up to his memorial where they've put this big memorial up there like, and it is beautiful. When you walk up there, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you're going to hear the Game of Thrones beginning um, music in there because it just reminds you of some kind of castle fortress that you're walking into. And um, that's how beautiful it is. And uh, oh, the casino, like I said, you can, you can also do a haunted... Uh, tour that they do after sundown so like around seven o'clock or eight they do a um, that you can everywhere you go they have brochures so don't wait for my links come on over here save up some money Michelle does you know what she does she pays her taxes I mean not pays but yeah pays her taxes every year when she does her tax returns she gets some money and she splurges for us. Now, I was never able to do anything like that for my mom, but my mom's happy about it. Um, I can't go into a lot here, but my family knows. <laughs> my family knows a little history of my mom in this place and I'm not going to talk about it I'm not going to talk about it there's so many other things you could do if you're a really active high active person there's hiking you want a backpack because you can get lost here um, 
this front area is more of a touristy area and where the people live up there on the hills. There are people living here. And then the shops down below here and through here and just right on Sumner Avenue, they put in a new bonds. Um, it's a big market, big for the island. The other one was like a walk through and a couple of minutes, but the, this one is pretty good size. And uh, so this part is like touristy area, but you can you can hike. Um, we hike down straight down Sumner, and then I forgot exactly what the next street is. But you're going down Sumner here, and then you go you cross the street when you run off of the sidewalk. There's no more sidewalk. You cross the street, and you kind of go to the left a little bit, and then up another street and I forgot how much that is called but um, you can look it up here but it's very easy to do and you just keep walking if you walk or golf cart or bicycle or whatever you have you know I don't know so um, I mean let me pause for just a minute because I want to drink my coffee. And then I'm going to pause and do a tour of this little place. I need to have it. Okay, let's continue this tour. And you see this spiral staircase? Okay, going to go down. I go down very carefully, especially when I'm holding the camera and my coffee mug. Please excuse anything that's left around, like our bags and stuff. We're still in the process of getting ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> Look at that chandelier. And again, the windows go partially around. I'm going to set down my coffee. And, uh... Hmm. Here's a very nice chair. Look at the, this chair, how vintage it looks. Swivel, swivel chair. Okay. And let me see. I don't know if I... Again, the view of the, um, the ocean front there. Close this down. And over here. Oh, it's just going to be a little bit more. A little bit to the side. But see all them? Houses and apartments and whatnot over there. So. And here's the little kitchen area I was telling you about. A refrigerator, coffee maker, um, Microwave. Ooh. It's got quite a lot of room. It's one of them small dorm type, but it's it's sufficient. A nice chest that we never really used. Very nice art. Uh, another TV. There's one upstairs as well. And isn't that just the cutest thing? That is, in case you ever stay here, to put ice and drinks, but you don't really have to use it. It's just mostly decorative. But um, that's why I was heard, like, you could put um, champagne, I guess, and some ice. Put some ice there and a um, uh, champagne, bottle of champagne or whatever. Here's a closet that once you step in, the light goes on. And there was a um, mas massage table or a therapy table and an ironing board and an iron. It does not take very much to impress the heck out of me with things like this. Now this is going to be a little bit messy, sort of, just got our towels. But look at, the, here's the jacuzzi bath. And it's very big. Ginger just loves it, it bubbles up. 
And then, you know, I know it sounds weird, but I, I get in after her. The water's still warm and still fresh and bubbly. Um, we just love it. And then, <clears throat> look at these showers. I don't even know what all this stuff is called. I would just love to have that one or this one. I would love to have this one because this one comes off and you can rinse your back and um, private areas <laughs> that you can't, you just can't reach when it's up there like that. But that has a nice stream to it. And this just falls right on top of you and it's just magnificent. Now there's all kinds of lighting going on in here too. Here's hi, um, our dual two sinks, a toilet, and here we are back again. I'm getting still getting ready, but here's um, here's the decor out here. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And another view. I'm sure this is the side that's going to have construction. But don't worry. Mid. And we are getting pretty close to mid uh, summer here. Oh, almost. We're like still in spring. Duh. But we're getting there. Oh, mid uh, 2019. Here's a nice little painting right there. Isn't that nice? I love chandeliers because my mom had chandeliers, a chandelier over our dining table at one point. And we all just thought it was so special. Now, this is a bed. It's a couch that folds out. I'm not going to do it because I don't need to. We all slept upstairs in that one bed. But look at here. This will probably sleep another two people and telephones lamps another thing that i liked here is the little plug-ins that you could plug in your phone and charge them up and here we are back again so isn't this amazing and if this is too much out of your budget which it could be I'm not going to go into the details. I'm going to flip this thing over so I won't get locked out. See? Clark Cable Suite 401. And right here closed. You just can go and look. There you are. Another beautiful. these light fixtures. They're so crystal and beautiful. Now here's another view.
another safety fire alarm and people can get out down here. See? Fire escape down here very carefully in case. But um, we've never run into anything like that. There's a man out there in a boat or a family of people, a couple people out there. Michelle and Ginger. It's up to them, but I think I'd like them to carry on peacefulness too. So that's why I take in these little videos. And um, I just love it because I just love this peacefulness here. Okay, so let's go back inside. Isn't that nice how they have their faces right there on there. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Close that. Sorry. Always lock up. They have this double, double locking things. They have a uh, peephole. See? You can see out into the hallway for safety. They have smoke alarms and other sources, safety d devices, smoke alarms, and I don't know what other things are. Carbon monoxide, I suppose. I don't know. But I'm going to lift this up here because look at this. Another chandelier. This is from my level here. And this is the ceiling. Isn't that just amazing? And they have the, like those studio type lights up here, and that's the top. On the top up there, it's carpeted. And you have a Fujitsu style air conditioner, a mirror. So I'm going to start getting dressed. <laughs> We try to leave this as neat as possible, but you know, we come here to live for a few days and you be respectful of your surroundings. Otherwise, if you do damage to a place or make it too messy, they might not want you to come back. But once you leave it nice and neat, the way pretty much the best that you can, um, 